morning my dear students how are you all i am sure that you all are absolutely fine children now your festivals are over now and i am sure that you have enjoyed your holidays right okay now children all of you please take out your english literature book now you have your english literature class and take out page number 9797 In my previous class I was teaching you Lucy looks into a wardrobe. In my previous class I have taught you up to here. Today I will start from here. So all of you please put today's date 081121. Next moment she found that what was rubbing against her face and hands was no longer soft fur. but something hard and rough and even prickly what do you mean by prickly prickly means thorny or rough now she was thinking or exclaimed to herself only why it is just like branches of trees exclaimed lucy and then she saw that there was a light ahead of her then suddenly what happened she saw that is there is a light it is very near to her not a few inches away where the back of the wardrobe ought to have been but a long way off something cold and soft was falling on her so something was falling on her what was that how she was feeling something cold and soft a moment later she found that she was standing in a middle of a wood middle of the wood means wood means a forest okay at night time that's why she cannot see with snow under her feet and snow flakes snowflakes means what a, a small pieces of snow falling through the air so she is now in another world through that wardrobe lucy felt a little frightened because she was all alone that's why she was little frightened but she felt very inquisitive what do you mean by inquisitive means curious and excited as well she looked back over her shoulder and there between the dark tree trunks she could still see the open doorway of the wardrobe uh, do you remember children when she was uh, getting inside the wardrobe she opened that uh, door because she was feeling unsafe to lock the door that one only okay and even catch a glimpse of the empty room from which she had set out she had of course left the door open for she knew that it was it is a very silly thing to shut oneself on into a wardrobe do you remember this line yes okay now see here she seemed to be still daytime it seemed to be still daytime there still daytime was there but what happened now she is thinking that uh, i can always get back if anything goes wrong thought lucy lucy thought that if anything will be wrong then i can go through that wardrobe she began to walk forward crunch crunch over she began to walk forward how it sounds crunch crunch because she was walking on the snow over the snow now in about 10 minutes she reached it and found it was a lamp post as she stood looking at it wondering why there was a lamp post in the middle of the wood wood means forest and wondering what to do next she heard a peter patter of feet coming towards her now she when she was thinking of that why the light lamp post is in between the wood then what should she do next after that only 
she heard a peter patter feet coming towards her I mean someone is and soon after that a very strange person stepped out from among the trees into a light of the lamp post she was wondering and at the same time what happened uh, someone came towards her among the trees into the light of the lamp post and stood in front of her now both were surprised to see each other he was only a little taller than lucy herself and he carried over his head an umbrella white with snow so all of you see here this is just a little taller than the lucy a little girl okay and he was carrying an umbrella and it is white in color it has become white in color because of the snow from the waist upward he was like a man just you see in the picture but his legs were shaped like a goat the hair on them was glossy black instead of feet what he had he had goat's hoof he also had a tail just you see look at the picture here but lucy did not notice this at first because it was neatly caught up over the arm with that held the umbrella so as to keep it from telling it the snow lucy did not notice this at the first because it was neatly caught up over the arm that held the umbrella so as to keep it from trailing in the snow okay so she thought that this is the part of the umbrella so and it is a black means it is a night time that's why she cannot understand he had a red woolen muffler round his neck and his skin was rather reddish too he had a strange but pleasant little face with a short pointed beard and curly hair and out of the hair there stuck two horns one on each side of his forehead so all of you see the face it is very sweet right so pleasant little face with a short pointed beard this is the beard short pointed beard and curly hair out this is the forehead and out of it what is there two horns are there each side and one of his hands as i have said held the umbrella in the other arm he carried several brown paper parcels so see her his skins are red and this is the woolen muffler around the neck and he is holding in one hand umbrella in and another hand he is holding the brown paper parcel and what with the parcels and the snow it looked looked just as if he had been doing his christmas shopping so by seeing him lucy thought that he must be doing the christmas shopping he was a fawn fawn means what fawn means what in ancient greek stories a god of the woods means a god of the forest with a man's face and body we and a goat's leg and horns so like this like this only it is called fawn in ancient greek stories and when he saw lucy he gave such a start of surprise that he dropped all his parcel goodness gracious me exclaimed the fawn now what happened this by seeing lucy fawn was surprised and he dropped all the parcels what he was holding 
and told surprisingly goodness gracious